He was everything. Tonight, a family is pleading for the violence to stop after two teenagers were shot and killed in a middle school parking lot. Metro police have two suspects in custody, but the victim's family says the shooting should serve as a wake-up call to the community. News 2's My Owens has more. I really not know words to put into it, honestly. It's like the hardest thing we've ever had to do. It's been five days since 17 year old Jalen McAdams was shot and killed. But for his family, he was, he was everything. Such a he was everything. Boy. He was everything. Every day has been a reminder of the stories that are now memories. He sang in the car. I love him so much. <laughs> Uh, he was such a good boy. I never saw what social media is doing to my child. I didn't see that boy. That wasn't my Jay. That wasn't my baby Jay. That wasn't JJ. Last Thursday, in the parking lot of Meg's Magnet School in East Nashville, Metro Police say Jalen and a 16 year old friend went to the parking lot together. When another car pulled up, two people got into the back seat and started shooting. Jalen died at the scene. He just wanted to live every single day like it was his last day, literally like it was his last day. Now his family says Jalen's story doesn't end here. They hope his death serves as a wake up call to bring an end to gun violence. Days after the shooting and Metro Police arrested 18 year old Rico Doss and 17 year old Ashton Brown, both charged with criminal homicide in the case. Police stating Doss was arrested on an outstanding warrant for another shooting the prior weekend. Like this does not have to happen. And like if you're carrying guns around just to have them and wave them, anything can happen at any point and you don't mean for it to happen. I'm sure that those boys didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> But it happened, and now all we can do is try to move forward and be strong for our family. As they remember Jalen and plead for help during this time. We have to fight for him now, you know? We have to be strong. Honestly, just pray for us. Mm -hmm. That's it. And Jalen's family says above all, they are trying to move forward. Many of his siblings forgiving the shooters and praying for them and their families. Right now, GoFundMes have been set up for both victims. Their family saying they could have never prepared for their funerals. We do have a link to both of those fundraisers over on our website, WKRN.com.